Hey, hey Libra, intuitive soul coach here with your November 2022 full moon reading. Welcome back to my channel if you are returning and welcome if you are new. Today we'll dive into the collective energy of Libra and take a look at what this game-changing lunar eclipse, full blood moon in the sign of Taurus has in store for you. So just a friendly reminder, these are general readings. Please do take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If you are interested in a personal reading or even entering into the free monthly reading giveaway, you can find both of those links in the description box below. All right, so Aries, this full moon on November 8th is a very powerful blood moon in the sign of Taurus, which is an earthy pinnacle energy. And it's all about grounding your dreams, your wishes, your goals into reality and taking action. There's a proactive energy around this full moon. It's also part of a three-part series that first took place back in November of 2020. So you may see a lot of changes that have transpired in your life over the last couple of years. You may see personal growth and development. You may see health goals. There could be things that are revealed to you that you weren't necessarily able to see because eclipse energy is all about revealing and concealing and I just get really strongly specifically for you but it could be on a collective level as November 8th is actually midterm election day in the United States and with that eclipse there could be some revealing some concealing some secrets some scandals some shadow work so you may be feeling uh, the energy of you know, that impacting on a global level, there could be a strong political movement, there could be a sparking of a revolution here. But I do feel for you, there is a very exciting energy of hitting those goals, hitting your target, keeping that eye on the prize. You're gaining momentum and you may have been going through a little bit of a lull period the last couple of months or you just need to focus that laser focus and intention on some of your goals and dreams and bring them back to down to reality. You are an air sign, Libra, so you may have a lot of beautiful ideas, creations, inventions, and goals that you've set out for yourself, but at times have a hard time manifesting them in the physical 3D. And that's something you're going to see shifting and that you're partaking in around this full moon. So you have Leo energy, you have Aries, and you have Sagittarian energy. Now you may have these placements in your chart, you may be dealing with others who have these placements in their chart, or you are just embodying the energies all together. So right away here it says, full moon in Leo, go wild. It is time for you to shoot big. It is time for you to shoot for the stars. It's time for you to dream in bigger ways than you could have ever imagined. Instead of staying within your comfort zone, staying within your box, Libra, or thinking that you would like to manifest this small thing, what are some really big things that you would like to see happening in your world? Because I feel like the law of attraction is on point. Your intuition is on point here in the month of November. And it's time for you to dream big is what I am sensing here. Go wild. This Leo energy says that you have the strength, you have the determination, you have the willpower, but you also have it within you to achieve any desired goals that you've set out to accomplish here in this lifetime. Next, we have Aries. Work through your feelings. Now, Libra, sometimes uh, us air signs, I'm a Libra as well, sometimes we don't always drop into the energy of feelings. We tend to kind of compartmentalize at times. We overthink, overanalyze, but when it does come to feelings, they can either really go deep or we can come across as aloof at times. Like we're not always in touch with our emotions, but I feel like this Scorpio season is telling you to go deep, go big, go to a place that maybe you've never been before. For, whether it's in your relationships, whether it's in your career, whether you're pushing your body in new ways, maybe you're starting a new exercise regime, maybe you're quitting drinking or smoking. There's just this energy of feeling empowered because you've made some soul decisions for yourself. And some of you are healing some deep-seated wounds that you've had for quite some time, maybe even for the past two years. Uh, Spirit's been giving me the seven and the 10 year cycle, which I've been mentioning in other uh, readings for this full moon eclipse. And if you've watched any of the other ones, you'll know that I've mentioned a seven year cycle and a 10 year. You may find that 
a lot of things are coming around back around back around for you to do it in a different way there could be something that <clears throat> took place over a course of a seven year span or a 10 year span that you've learned some really beautiful soul lessons and now they're kind of coming back again but in a different form or a different way so you can take what you've learned and implement into this new beginning Next, we have this Sagittarian energy. See the bigger picture. And this is, you know, December energy as well. So some of you, you're able to really hit a milestone or a goal that you've set out or wanted to accomplish. And I feel like it's taking you by surprise because there's a revealing but it's in a positive way. It's almost as if you've set a goal for yourself that you would like to maybe get compensated or paid a certain amount from this new job offer that's coming your way. And then it just blows you out of the park with what they're willing to offer. Or it could be a relationship where you said, yeah, I'm open to seeing where something goes. And then boom, it's as if a spark connects the two of you and it takes off and you were not expecting that. So I do feel like there may be some sort of a reveal or some sort of a surprise that kind of hits you right in that third eye chakra and you're able to manifest quite quickly here. So let's dive into your energy here, Libra, and take a look at where you are at, what you're manifesting, and also what it is that you're releasing and letting go around this full moon. What else do we have? What is Libra letting go of? Thank you, Spirit. So where are you currently at here? You're getting out of your own head. I love this, Libra. You have the two of swords, the eight of swords, and the lovers. So what you're doing is you're opening your eyes. There's the, the reveal. The two of swords can be at times we shut our eyes to a situation. Now, some of you, this could be Gemini energy, which we do see. I thought we had Gemini out here. Maybe not. Some of you may just be dealing with a Gemini or you may have that placement in your chart. But the, the lover's energy is saying there could be love coming your way and you don't even see it. For others of you, this could be a love for what you do or some sort of wish fulfillment that you didn't expect. Because we also have that eight of swords. I feel like this could be a personal goal for yourself as well because this two of swords can be at times needing to get out of your head and drop down to your heart center, which we just talked about that as well, Libra. And the two of swords showing up here is saying that you may feel like you're at a crossroads, but your head and your heart, if they're in opposition, you may be meeting in the middle and that's where the magic happens. And that's what's going to manifest here in the physical world. The energy of itself is, you know, you are being divinely guided and the Eight of Swords says that if you've self-sabotaged yourself in the past to love or a love for what it is that you do with this Gemini energy, or if you fail to make choices from the heart, but you tend to at times make choices from the head, the Eight of Swords says that you're letting go of an old story. You're letting go of the mental block. In both these cards, she has the blindfold on. So even though we don't see the Seven of Swords, so I don't feel like it's a, a lying, cheating, sneaking type of energy here. Maybe it's something you dealt with in the past, but I feel like this is more about you opening your heart up to a situation, a person, or an energy that brings you a lot of love. I'm actually going to pull one card to clarify this Two of Swords and Eight of Swords. All right, what do we have here for Knight of Cups? It could certainly be love coming your way here. Uh, we're kind of getting the same type of energy. Some of you may be seeing someone for who they truly are beyond just the surface. Uh, now, some of you, there could be there could be a decision that you've made for yourself. Maybe it was impulsive. Maybe there could have been someone else that was impulsive or came into your life as well. The Nine of Cups says that you may have shut your heart down towards a person or towards a situation and I feel like you're opening up here. Now let's move forward because I feel what it is that you're releasing is actually going to help you open yourself up here. Yeah, you're releasing this nine of swords, some sort of anxiety, depression, sleepless nights, worry, concerns. Nine of swords can be, I mean you have the two of swords, the eight of swords, the nine of swords, so you're releasing this. Whatever this is for you, you're releasing and you're opening your eyes to some sort of truth. And I feel that this truth is something that you love. There could be a coming back together. There could be a vulnerability. This could be a love offer. Some of you, you're healing. Uh, 
some pain that had occurred from maybe a past person here. This is a very powerful dynamic. And there's feelings here as well, which we talked about in the beginning. So honor those feelings, work through them. If you need to talk to a trusted friend, an intuitive, a counselor, a psychic, if you need to talk to someone about those feelings to help you gain the clarity that you need, then absolutely. Some of you, there could be a surprise proposal. I will say here, it could come out of the blue and definitely surprise you. And you may be finally able to see the bigger picture. Now, the Nine of Swords here showing up, this is what you're letting go of. Uh, I do like this showing up as the release because full moons, Libra, are all about healing rituals. It's about release, building a new structure, a new goal for yourself, but also giving gratitude for the things that you have in your life as well. And that Taurian energy is all about you, again, grounding something, making it happen. So for some of you, you may be moving in with a partner. You may be getting engaged or getting married. For others of you, there could be there could be something you weren't seeing in a relationship before, but now you're able to see clear as day and you're able to see the bigger picture of what you need to do to move onward. If this is career related, maybe you weren't quite seeing all of your skills and all of your talents. Maybe you were staying up awake at night wondering, how can I bring in a new income source? How can I work smarter, not harder? How can I see my skills, my gifts, my, my talents and not sabotage the success that's coming in for me? Uh, there is a new opportunity coming in for you I feel with the lover's card and it's going to be where you're able to go towards your heart's direction chasing your bliss I love this Libra let's take a look and see what your untapped spiritual gifts are and your greatest strengths what are your untapped gifts, Libra? Now, this is one of my favorite parts of the reading because we all realize and recognize that we do have skills, talents, and gifts, but we're not always sure what they are or how to embrace them to the fullest. So let's take a look at your untapped gift. So this is something that you can tap into at any time. You have an unlimited supply. You have access to this, but we don't always harness and embrace this energy. Ten of Wands. Ten of Wands here says that you don't have to fix everyone or everything. Libra, you may be a healer. You may be on that spiritual path of enlightenment, of awakening. But sometimes we tend to carry things that no longer serve us. We tend to carry the weight or the, wor the burdens uh, of others or of situations. Or we tend to want to fix, heal, or repair situations. But realizing that it's not our job to do so. Maybe professionally, uh, some of you, it certainly is your job to help other people heal, but I do feel for you, your untapped gift is that you're able to do a lot. You're able to carry the things that you need to grow and to evolve, if that makes sense. So the 10 of wands, she can face a lot. She can carry a lot. She can climb mountains if need be with all of this weight on her back. So you can certainly get through a lot of challenges and obstacles in this lifetime, Libra. But your untapped gift here is to know when to kind of prioritize, when to drop some of those, some of the weights here. Uh, for others of you, this can be about knowing when to rest because you may feel at times physically exhausted, mentally exhausted, spiritually exhausted. Uh, but this is prioritizing, eliminating things that no longer serve you, but not doing everything on your own. Okay, Libra, uh, you may need to ask for support, ask for help, ask for guidance. You may need to delegate tasks or tell people what you need from them. And I feel like you can get everything that you need emotionally, uh, spiritually, financially yourself. But at times it's important to know that you don't have to do this life alone. Okay. And that's your untapped gift here. Can you? Absolutely. But do you have to? No. Your greatest strength, Libra? Queen of Pentacles. This is a powerful dynamic here. So the fact that, yes, you are not afraid of hard work. 
That's what I feel here is your untapped gift. Even though at times you are ruled by Venus and you like luxury and you like beautiful things, if it's something that you have your eye on, if you have that laser focus, you're not afraid to put in the work. And that's your untapped gift as well. They were just telling me to bring that back in. But your greatest strength is your resourcefulness, your abundance. The Queen of Pentacles is the most abundant connected, tuned in queen that there is. Aside from the empress, she is someone who is very, very fertile and very loving, very nurturing, very mothering as well. This queen of pentacles enjoys the physical pleasures and beauty that life has to offer. Not only are you ruled by Venus, Libra, but Taurus, this full moon in Taurus is also ruled by Venus. And Venus is the planet of love and also beautiful things and material things as well. So I feel like you are working hard here, your untapped gift to enjoy the beautiful luxuries and things that life have to that life has to offer, whether it is a beautiful home to live in, whether it's being able to take exotic vacations or just vacations in general, whether it is able to connect and tune into that spiritual side because the queen of pentacles you can see that she has these almost like antennas or antlers coming out from her head and she's tuned into the earth to the universe to the spirits so she has a wonderful gift and libra this is you where you're able to connect at any time to that divine source don't be afraid to put in some hard work here, Libra, if it's something you really want. See the bigger picture and things will start to kind of fall into place exactly as they should. So I love those uh, untapped gifts and talents that you have here and strengths. Now let's take a look and... Uh, let's take a look and get messages from your spiritual team, your ancestors, your guides, your angels, pets, loved ones. Let's see what messages are coming in from spirit. What do we have here? Spirit. All right. I feel like there's going to be a surprise coming in here for you. Uh, a surprise that at first it may throw you for a loop, Libra, but know that you're going to come out on top, okay? It's something that maybe you get offered a job you weren't expecting. Maybe someone asked to partner up with you. There could be uh, someone who confesses their love, or you may fall for someone that is not normally your type. There could be something within health that has you take a deeper look at it, uh, but I feel like it's going to... It's going to bring in a positive outcome here. So let's take a look and see what your messages are. We have trust, we have choices, and we have support. There's that Gemini lover's energy of the choices, but we have trust. Trust that your true heart's compass is going to lead the way here. Because you can see the compass smack dab in the middle here of his heart and solar plexus area. And that's what that trust is all about as well. And it says, while your logical mind... All right, spirits having me bring up these swords because this is a lot of air energy and you are air. While your logical mind is dictating a supposedly clear direction, your soul's inner guidance is urging you to follow an alternative path. The logical path may be one that you consider safe and more familiar, but you could be missing out on boundless opportunities and so much more. Yeah, this is about getting out of your head and dropping down to your heart center or at least figuring out again how to meet in the middle to make that magic happen. And so choices are next for you. When you accept responsibility for your life, Libra, and the choices you make, you begin to tap into the power of your own spirit. Remember now, that's your greatest strength is for you to tap in here. You'll be able to listen to and appreciate the intuitive wisdom that's inside you and apply it positively and constructively to your outer world. And that's what you're doing here is you're manifesting from the choices that you've made for yourself, you're manifesting into this 3D earthly realm. And it could be, again, your finances, your physical uh, material gains, your prosperity, your health, your wealth, and your body as well. So choices. There's going to be some choices that you're going to make here, but go wild as well. Go for the big choice, the bold choice, the the um, the one that maybe you wouldn't normally do. Maybe you would stay in your comfort zone or your safe zone. Say yes to something big, bold, and wild. 
Next here, we have support. And you can see that there is an egg being held there. So there's something fragile here. It says people come into your life for many different reasons. Some you learn from and they move on, while others return often because you need to learn more from those individuals. Others remain beside you throughout your entire life. You can see the fragile energy of this egg. You can see also the wings in the back. So your angels are listening here. Some of you have really been connecting. Scorpionic energy is all about mysticism and spirituality and the occult. Some of you may be really tuning into the tools, the spiritual tools, whether it's oracle cards, whether it is uh, tarot cards, perhaps you've been doing energy work, meditation, uh, maybe you've been using the pendulum, saging, creating uh, vision boards, things of that nature, working with the law of attraction, but knowing that you're fully supported, I feel like there's proof of it coming in here. Someone may also show up that you haven't talked to for quite some time. Okay, I, I'm not saying an ex, uh, although it, it could be for some of you, but I'm not feeling that. I feel like you are seeing physical proof that someone that maybe you've had a falling out with or a family member, or maybe it could be a complete stranger shows up and you feel supported and you feel the love coming in here because I, I am getting this energy of love quite strong, not just with this Gemini energy and this Knight of Cups, but I feel like there's love all around you. Now, Libra, what we have here is we have Lemuria creating heaven on earth. It's happening. Yes, 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 it is. Uh, you are creating heaven on earth. You're bringing that heaven energy down to earth. And whatever your goals, your wishes, and your desires are, that's what this moon is all about, is again, manifesting into the world, into this physical. So creating heaven on earth, what does that look like to you? What are you trying to achieve here in this lifetime? Because this is saying that not only is it possible to do so, but you have everything that you need to manifest and create and make this happen. So your life is going to head in a very, very positive direction, Libra, but trust your path because the next card up here, trust your path. If you knew that you were supported, what would you do? Here it is. There's your physical proof of support. Two different decks here, both messages from your spiritual team. Spirit is saying here that you are supported. Also, if you knew you were supported, what would you do? And I feel like you are, you're getting some sort of acknowledgement, recognition, proof that you're loved and that you're supported, whether this is from, you know, your coworkers, your spouse, your family members, your children, your friends, whoever this is, it also is your spiritual team fully supports you. And I feel like you're spreading your wings, Libra, and you're ready to take flight. So this is very powerful. And lastly here, we have deep replenishment, retreat, rest, and be held. I feel like a lot of you have already been going through this energy of replenishment. 2022, especially that first eclipse, like I mentioned, this eclipse is part of a three-part series that first took place in November of 2020. You may have been going through a deep replenishing type of energy since then, and uh, the final eclipse will conclude in October of 2020, uh, excuse me, 2023, but this is about retreat, rest, and being held, being loved, and being, instead of you nurturing and healing and helping everybody else in your world, this is about you being the on the receiving end as well. And spirit showing how much the universe and your guides and your angels and your loved ones love, support, and are helping you heal as well. So there's a deep replenishment that's been taking place here. All right, Libra, let's take a look and see how you've grown. How have you grown during this phase of your life? Whether this is the last two years, the last seven years, or even the last 10 years, take it as it resonates. You've grown a lot, Libra. Three of Swords energy, but let's see uh, how you can continue growing on your path, and I will clarify as well. So how can you continue growing on your soul's journey and uh, moving forward? So we'll take a look at that in just a moment, but how you've grown here. There's been heartache. There's been loneliness. There's been disappointment. There's been sadness. The Three of Swords showing up, though, in reverse, very beautiful. So this is how you have grown. You've actually 
healed, which that was the last card that we see here. Deep replenishment, re retreat, rest. You've had to overcome some challenges of the heart, Libra, and that may be something you weren't able to see fully. Maybe you thought you were broken, damaged, wounded. Maybe you weren't able to see what everybody else could see, especially uh, especially spirit, because you can see that she's looking in the mirror and she's not bound. It's only the reflection that she has upon herself that is tied up here. When she looks, when she kind of looks upward, she, she doesn't have to stay bound and tied. She could see herself from a completely different perspective here, but she chooses to see herself as maybe meek or heartbroken or challenged or, bro um, traumatized here but that is the furthest thing from the truth i feel like you are opening your eyes to again this bigger picture two of swords says you're getting out of your own head you're making headway you're making not only just progress but the three of swords says that you've come a long way and if you've dealt with challenges which we all have i feel like there's been a deep healing within you and that's how you've grown you've become a better version of you not a bitter version and sometimes uh, people do become bitter when they go through these heartbreaks and these challenges, but you've actually used the energy of pain to help heal yourself and to help inspire and heal others in your life, either on a professional level or personal level, but you've used this pain and transformed and turned it into something quite beautiful. And lastly, in order for you to continue growing on your soul's journey, action steps that you can take. Oh, I love it. Page of Wands, stay curious, stay inquisitive. If you're curious about that workshop that is showing up online or in person, say yes, sign up for that. If you are curious about, you know, the occult, the mysticism, the spiritual side, especially in this scorpionic energy of November here, say yes and take a class, read a book, learn about it. This Page of Wands is someone who is eager to learn. She's excited. She's curious. For some of you, this is travel. You want to explore new lands, new places, and indulge in new communications here. This page of wands is a student, but yet she can also reach that point of teaching what it is that she learns. But if you are constantly in an energy of that student, which I feel we all here on earth are the student, we're constantly evolving, we're constantly learning. But the beautiful thing is, is you actually are able to teach the things that you learn as well, Libra, whether it's teaching your own children or, you know, your clients or your friends or the people around you, you're setting up a good example. Uh, but make sure that you continue seeing the glass half full versus half empty. The four of cups says here, allow space to grieve if need be. Allow yourself to be disappointed for a moment. Give yourself an hour, give yourself, you know, a day, whatever you need if something doesn't happen, but don't sit in it. Don't allow that energy to determine your direction moving forward because we are human. We have these human emotions and it's okay to feel you know, angry at times or disappointed or sad or bored, but don't allow that energy to take control and take over because spirit has a plethora of abundance and opportunities and new beginnings here. So make sure that you are opening yourself up. Rejection is God's protection. And this four of cups energy says, reach out instead of letting yourself feel impatient or depressed or frustrated, bored, or ungrateful. Make sure you're practicing mindfulness and uh, gratitude as well. And that's what this Taurus full moon is about. It helps us open our eyes to what we have right in front of us. And you can see that showing up twice here for you, Libra, is sometimes we take little things in our lives for granted. Maybe it's we take, you know, the people that care and love us the most, we take them for granted. Or at times we take our drinking water, our beds, our refrigerator, our heat. We take those things for granted. And I feel like there's a lot of uh, abundance. There's a lot of blessings and a lot of gratitude to be had for you here, now, and in the future. So make sure that you are counting your blessings and being grateful for what you have. And then lastly here, Eight of Cups. Keep walking towards your Nine of Cups, your wish fulfillment. 
search for the deeper, search for the more meaning, get to the root of the whys at times, but don't allow yourself, you know, to sit in that and uh, be in that air energy of being in your head and overanalyzing, but find the why, see the bigger picture here, and then take action and go towards that wish fulfillment. Eight of cups walks right towards the nine of cups here and that 10 of cups as well. So you're walking away from things that are not growing within you. It could be a business or a job. It could be a relationship. It could be certain foods or certain beverages that just aren't good for your soul. And you know it deep down and you're walking towards things that are better for you. You're making healthier choices in your life and you're making choices based on self-love, not based on fear, not based on you need to do this because it's your responsibility or it's your duty. You're doing it because you love yourself, Libra. So very powerful reading, very powerful energies. Make sure you embrace this time because it's a very potent moon. If I haven't said already, I feel like it's one of the most powerful times of 2022. So make sure that whatever whatever creative projects, endeavors, words, things that you've wanted to manifest and speak your world into being or actually create, launch or manifest, it's time to do so now. So take that next step, take that plunge. Spirit will catch you. I hope this resonates for you, Libra. If so, please feel free to hit that thumbs up button. It certainly does help get the divine channeled messages out there to those that need it most. Feel free to share, like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell. And thank you so much for tuning in. I'm sending all of you beautiful souls tons of love and light.